In this video clip, I'm going to show you how to actually import specific components that were designed specifically for the STEM neighborhood project into your actual model. So you're in your model right now, which is the lot floor plan with the raised walls, and you're going to now be able to place in the windows on all the exterior walls, as well as closet doors and interior and exterior doors. So the first thing I need to do in order to actually complete this step is to go up to where it has the Get Models icon, click on that tool, and you're going to once again type in the tag STEM Neighborhood, hit search, and we're going to look for window. So we're going to start off with the door, or I'm sorry, with the window first. So the double window, this is a 3D model, you can actually click on it, and it'll give you a brief description of what it is. Um, it's a six foot wide double window opening that can be customized in the actual house that you're working on. So we're going to download the model, load it directly into SketchUp, and unfortunately it comes into the, mo the model um, oriented differently than what you would hope it would be. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is just simply click anywhere to uh, basically snap the object or the component into place. Then I'm going to orbit. I'm going to find where the window sill is, and the window sill is the actual part right here. I need to rotate that then. So let's rotate this 90 degrees. Okay. And then in order to, for me to put on this wall and this opening right here, I'm going to then once again need to rotate it 90 degrees. So now you zoom in, there's the window sill part, uh, which indicates that that will be the bottom of the window and this will be the top and you will see that there is molding that goes all the way around the window um, that's exterior molding which will basically sit flush on top of the siding or in this case on the side of the house so the next thing I need to do then is to move in, zoom in and make sure that I have the move tool selected and I'm going to click right on this endpoint right here in the component I'm going to make this, I'm going to mate this endpoint with the corner of the window opening so I'm going to zoom in and it's going to go right there. So as you can tell, um, there's going to be a little bit of sizing I have to do later, but for right now, this is exactly what I want. Next thing I do then is I want this right here, this endpoint in the component, to sit flush against the wall's face. So I need to move it in along the green axis. So I'm going to click once, drag it in, until that reaches the face. Oh, there we go. I need to be on the green axis. Yeah. So let's try it again. on face. Okay, so there is the actual window, and you can actually see inside the wall where the window sits. Let's zoom out and go to the other side, and as you can tell on the bottom, the window still needs to be lower. So I'm going to move this, and zoom in on this part right here, and lower that down until it reaches the bottom of the window sill. Zoom out. And there you go, there's your second window. I already put the window in for the demonstration. In order to drag a window to the other, other side, one way of doing that is to click on the window, click the Move tool, and <coughs> once again, this is where it's a good idea to find this endpoint that sits flush against the wall. You find that endpoint, and then hit Control Plus, and we're going to zoom out pull it over the other side, and it's going to get a little tricky, so let's zoom out, and zoom back in, and there you go, it's right on the wall, and it's sitting flush against the wall, actually no it isn't, so we're once again going to have to move that in, so it sits on face, and come back out, and looks good to me. And if once you're satisfied with where the window is, actually it needs to be lowered. You can see just by this little spot right here. So let's lower the window. Into about there. And then once again, push pull this section underneath the window sill itself. And you can see that this still needs to be moved over a little bit too. This is the trickier part of the floor. Mm -hmm. 
so there you go, there's the window exactly where it needs to be. So you have three windows in the front. Once you've finished putting all the windows in, then you can move along inside to the interior of the house, and you can work on the closet doors as well as the normal door openings. I'm going to show you where you can find those once again in the Get Models STEM neighborhood is the tag, that's search, and we're going to go for a double closet sliding door or a single interior door. Let's go ahead and just do a single interior door. Now we're the model directly into what you're using. Okay. So we're going to put an interior door right on this first bathroom. So I'm going to put it anywhere. And these are a little bit trickier too because like I said, all the molding is already on. So you need to actually line this up, this interior part right here. Right on this edge. Not the easiest thing to do. Let's move this down. See, I'm still having some difficulties here. Oh, I don't want to rotate. Lined up right on that edge. Okay. And then we just need to push pull it in until this reaches the face. So on the face hit now, so let's go in, move it again on the green axis until it says on face. Go to the opposite side, there is the door. And if anything looks like this, you once again need to open the door a little bit over. Okay, so you get the full light in the or door opening. Okay. So there is the first interior door. And this interior door is actually going into the half bathroom. Okay, it's a pretty small bathroom, but that's why it's called the half bathroom or vanity. Where it's simply it will just be a sink and a toilet. To put in the closet door, let's go ahead and get the model for the closet door. Closet door. There's a double closet sliding door. Download model. If you have an interior, if you have a closet door for the interior uh, walls that is just a single door, just use a regular door opener. And you can customize these components, and I'm going to show you that in the next video as well. So there it is a six foot wide opening. Let's go ahead and move it in. And then all we have to do is slide it right in. One face. There you have it, there's your door, let's move it over a little bit. And there you go, there's your closet doors. So you can zoom out. Closet doors. Windows. Interior doors. Go ahead and complete these steps by using the SketchUp Warehouse.